Hej. Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Lisa. Definitely make sure you subscribe. For today's video, I have a what's on my iPhone plus how I edit my Instagram pictures. I haven't done this in a little while and my phone has changed just a little bit, not too much honestly, but a little bit for sure. And I also edited my pictures differently than the last video I did on that. I don't remember when that was, but I just know that I edit differently now. So, um, yeah, if you want to see what's on my iPhone and how I edit my pictures, then just keep on watching. So I'm just going to put in a screenshot of what my log screen looks like because for some reason it won't let me record my log screen. But I get all of my wallpapers from the Mayfair group on Instagram. They have the best wallpapers ever. I'm pretty sure they have like a highlight. You could just screenshot them from there. And they just have the cutest one. So um, my home screen like wallpapers also from them. I hope it's not going to stop recording. If it does that, I will literally like jump out of my window. Because this has happened to me multiple times when I would film a video like this. And then the like, screen recording thing just stops out of nowhere. And I'm not, I don't even realize that that's the worst thing. Um, okay, basically the first page is pretty simple. It's just kind of like some important apps that I go to very often. Um, so it starts with messages, photos, notes, and camera, self-explanatory, clock, Google Chrome. I prefer using this over Safari also because it's like connected with like my Google Chrome account. So like all my bookmarks and stuff are like, I can access them anywhere. App Store and then I also have calendar which I really like using I recently started using it I was gonna start using Google Calendar, but I prefer this one. I don't know why and then obviously it's like connected with like my laptop and stuff and my iPad 9292 is a like a public transport app for Dutch people So like if you need to go somewhere you can put your location in there and it'll show you exactly how to get there um, Google Maps weather outlook which is my email settings and then down the bottom I have um, Gmail, WhatsApp which is pretty much what we use for texting here in Holland, um, phone and Spotify. If you want to follow my Spotify, this is my account. I have one playlist at the moment. I had another one but I deleted it because I didn't like it anymore and I made a new one for summer and it just has some of my favorite songs of this moment. They're not all new but like just what I've been listening to so yeah I'll leave a link down below. Or just like look up my username so for the next page I have Instagram Twitter snapchat Pinterest these are just like everyone uses these if you want to follow my Instagram this is it um, go ahead and follow me and DM me if you want because I like telling to you guys um, and then Twitter I love Twitter Twitter is the best app Especially for like late night when I'm just like bored, I have nothing to do. I don't really tweet much. I'm more so just like retweet stuff and like like stuff. And then whenever I post a new video, I post it on there. Um, Snapchat is just, again, self-explanatory. This is my Snapchat. Um, then I have Pinterest. Also really love Pinterest for like inspiration and stuff. This is my Pinterest. I really like it. I'm not on there as much as I used to be. But... You need inspiration and I have the YouTube app Facebook I don't really use Facebook often only when I'm like bored I'll like scroll through Facebook FaceTime and then rain rain is the app that I use to fall asleep basically just has rain sounds like a lot of different sounds actually not just rain but like a lot of different sounds and you can put like a timer on it and I usually let it go for like 30 minutes and then before it turns off I'm asleep <laughs> So then I have some folders. The first one is socials. I have the YouTube studio app, which is really handy if you make YouTube videos. You can pretty much um, see all your analytics in there. You can like edit your video description, stuff like that. You can also reply to comments. Netflix, Canopolis, which is like my city's movie theater. Black Hole. This app is really weird, but it lets you download videos on Twitter. So I use it every now and then when I really want to download like a t video that I see on Twitter. Um, then I have just this app that is for my TV. I can pretty much watch TV on this app. Um, podcast. I don't really use ever music. I also don't really use, but I keep it because sometimes like when I record a cover or something, I like to put it in my iTunes music thing and then I can also listen to it on my phone. This is United Wardrobe, which is where I sell my clothes. So if you are Dutch and you want to buy some of my clothes, I don't have much on there anymore. Um, I should put some stuff on there again soon. You can buy my clothes on here. 
Then I have social media letters, which is pretty much this thing. I can pretty much like eat for free and like Amsterdam and stuff. And then like I will promote them. So you can like whatever. Like I don't really use it often, but sometimes it's like fun when I'm with like a friend and we're in Amsterdam. We're like, okay, we kind of want to eat for free. So like I just book, like I make a reservation and then I just promote them on my Instagram store and I get to eat for free. <laughs> Then I have the pattern which has to do with astrology and stuff as well as CoStar. I really, really like those. So if you are getting into astrology and you need some good apps, then I would definitely suggest those two. AliExpress, which I only recently downloaded because I was on there just like looking for like cheap sunglasses and just like little like stupid shit that you can just find on there. And it was just kind of getting annoying just doing it on like my browser, so I decided to download the app. Tumblr, I literally never use. Um... This is an app, it's called Dive Store, which I can like order food. Um, Adidas, I only have this app for like when new Yeezys come out. I like to like get a notification. And then TikTok, I literally, why do I love this? Like I love laying in bed like at night when I'm like about to go to sleep and just watch people's TikToks. I don't know why, but it's so like, it's really good. Um, my next order is editing, which I'm going to get into. After I've gone through everything, um, basically I have Lightroom, Snapseed, Facetune 2, Unfold, Planoli, Storylux, and Visco. But as I said, I'm going to get into this later on. Then I have an important one which just has like banking apps for like my phone, um, like all kinds of stuff, like delivery shit, my health insurance, Ticketmaster, which is like, or Ticketmaster, Monster, Master, I don't know. You can buy tickets on there. Um, again, like as well, which is like where you can buy tickets as well, and then just like, I don't know, just like stuff that you need on your phone, but like, you don't use often, but they're still like important. Then I have travel, which just has wallet, which I like to put my, um, what's it called? Boarding pass, that's what it's called. I like to put my boarding passes in there when I'm traveling. Airbnb, Uber, and Uber Eats, self-explanatory. Then I have a need, which I have this app symbol, which has like really cool symbols like the hearts and the stars and stuff. Google Home for my Chromecast reminders. Faluda Plus, which is I use to like convert like currencies. Place Memo Books, Acrobat, which is like an Adobe thingy. I don't know. I needed it once and I never deleted it. I don't know if I still need it. Find iPhone, Dropbox, Bitmoji, calculated measure, and this like Canon print thing so I can print from my phone to my printer. Again, just random stuff that you kind of need. Um, and then the last one, I just have this, like, shit I don't use, health for and iTunes. Like, I'm pretty sure you can't delete these. Oh, I can't delete iTunes, but I don't know what that's going to do. Anyways, just keep that there. Um, so, yeah. Now, let's get into my editing. I used to use a lot of different things. I used to use Visco a lot. I used to, like, do the most for my pictures. Then for a little while, I stopped using any filters. And then recently, I came across this um, like Instagram model influencer called Emma. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she just recently put out these like Lightroom presets. And I've always wanted to use Lightroom presets, but I never found any that I liked. Like they were always just too much, too bright, too orange, too like whatever. Like people were doing like the most, and I didn't want anything like too filtered, but. I bought her presets. I think they were like $25 or something. Um, and they're just like super natural. Let me show you. Um, so I saved them right here. First one is natural light, which I'm using right now. Then you have mirror selfie, golden hour, flat lay, and then black and white. Now obviously, they all have names. So like the flat lay isn't going to look cute on like a regular picture, but it's going to look really good on flat lays. Golden hour is like really good for golden hour photos. And then mirror selfies. For mirror selfies, natural light is like what I use the most. And then black and white is whenever I feel like a picture doesn't match my feet, but I still want, like the colors don't match, but I still want to post it. Like this one, this one was like really orange and I didn't like that. So I used her black and white filter. This one I just used natural light, same as these. So yeah, I really like using her presets. That's like the main app that I use for editing. Sometimes I'll go into Snapseed just to like fix like lighting stuff. If I want to make the background like lighter, like I'll use the, um, what's it called? I'll use the selective tool and you can like click on something. Like if I want like this, obviously it doesn't look good, but if you want to brighten something or darken something, that's really nice with Snapseed. And sometimes I use it to like sharpen a photo. 
Facetune, I definitely facetune my picture sometimes, girl, I'm not gonna lie. Like, sometimes I like to make my jaw a little bit, you know, straighter and, like, whatever. But I keep it very minimal. I don't want to go too crazy to the point where, like, I, like, don't look like myself. Then Unfold is really nice for Instagram stories. It's also what I use to, like, promote, like, my videos when I upload them. And I like to post, like, outfit of the days. I don't do them as much anymore, but I used to do them all the time. And Unfold just has, like, really cool templates also with, like borders like um film borders and stuff then i have planoli which i used to use unum but i've moved on to planoli because i actually prefer this one to plan out like what i'm posting and to see what matches my feed so as you can see i have two posts coming up but um yeah this is just some pictures i have on my feed and yeah planoli is just like a really nice app for that and then i have story looks which i don't really use much anymore but pretty much story looks also has like the borders and stuff which is really cool then i have this coat which i haven't used in a really long time but i don't really want to delete it because i feel like it might still come in handy sometimes if i maybe want to put like a nice grain or whatever on my photos but yeah this coat is like the og everyone uses that but yeah that is pretty much all that's on my iphone i'm very happy the recording didn't stop i was very focused on it making sure that didn't happen because i would literally be so upset but yeah, that's all that's on my iPhone. Um, I know it's really nothing crazy. I like to keep it very simple, very organized. I don't have any like games on my phone or anything because I never use them. And that's also how I edit my Instagram pictures. Again, very simple, very easy. I used to put a lot of time and effort into editing. I just like don't want to anymore. Like I'm over that and I just want to keep everything very simple. And I'd rather put a little bit of more effort into where I'm taking the photo, like the location and stuff, instead of like having to go and edit like a bunch of stuff afterwards because it didn't match like my feed or whatever. And I just think like the no filter look just looks a lot nicer and cleaner than like the overly filtered stuff. But that's just my personal opinion, obviously. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And of course, subscribe. Also, make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.